Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Uh, this week I was proud to host, along with Senator Linda Reynolds, the launch of Australian Reading Hour 2018. Senator Reynolds and I are the co-chairs of the Parliamentary Friends of Australian Books and Writers, a group formed only one year ago. But over the last 12 months, we've held some wonderful events and, more importantly, have promoted Australian books and Australian writers to the parliament and beyond. The purpose of the event was to launch this year's Australian Reading Hour. On Thursday, the 20th, 20th of September, we want all Australians to stop what they're doing for one hour and to pick up a book. I love books. I've always enjoyed reading just for the sheer wonder and pleasure that it brings. There's nothing better than being so totally engrossed in a book that you're transported from, away from your own reality to the other world created by an author. But there are actually other, more tangible benefits that come from reading. In adults, reading has been shown to reduce stress by 68 per cent. That's more than listening to music, more than going for a walk or having a cup of tea. The more leisure books people read, the more literate they become and the more prosperous and equitable the society they inhabit. Reading a gripping novel causes positive biological changes in the brain that can actually last for days. And even more lasting changes occur. Readers of narrative fiction, when tested for empathy, achieve significantly higher than other groups. Reading helps us to understand our own identity. And for those of us with children, the benefits of reading to them are also significant. Reading to children six to seven days a week puts them almost a year ahead of those kids who are not being read to. So it was a pleasure this week to hear Children's Laureate and 2018 Australian Reading Hour Ambassador, Maurice uh, Gleitzman, talk about the importance of stories for young people to equip them to embrace their futures in a sometimes, in, in a sometimes dark and uncertain world. Author and actress Judy Nunn is also an Australian Reading Hour Ambassador for 2018. She shared how one book had transformed her life when she was nine years old. Last year, I went to many schools in my electorate to read the Memfox book, I'm Australian Too, to some of the students, and then I donated the book to the, many of my school's libraries. It was a wonderful experience. So I'm very excited about reading our, uh, Australian Reading Hour 2018. This year, I'm going to invite book clubs in my electorate to share with me the history of their book club, how they started, how long they've been going, what special things they do to celebrate books, Perhaps if there's any alcohol involved, I have heard of book clubs that do involve alcohol. Uh, I've been a, a member of a few of those, in fact. And also what books they're reading so that I can recommend it to other uh, book clubs in Morton. So everybody, happy Australian Reading Hour. Find one hour on Thursday, the 20th of September, to read your book. Here, here. Well said. I thank